Okay, what we did so far was, was pretty passive. Everybody understand the principles of the drill. The principles are the most important thing here. You have to understand that I can't just reach up and grab a person. I can't just go through all these ranges and grab them. This guy is good at kicking. This guy is good at boxing. What happens when I reach up and grab his head? What's he going to do? Boom, oh, that's it. I have to know how to buy myself the right to get him. And I only do that by ensuring that I keep on hitting that reach step on every step of the way. And tell me that point of dominance, okay? Okay. So let's exaggerate this a bit so I have no targets. Cut yourself off nice and tight and strong. Now, this is still static, but we're going to give it a bit of a different dynamic here. He's not just a walking punching bag. Now he's got some structure, he's got his, his guard on. Now we get to a situation where I have an identified active threat. And I've got no choice. I still need to stream through here and I have to take control as fast as possible. I can't sit here now and turn this into maybe a, uh, a sparring match. Unless I know he's got no weapons, he's got no buddies around, we have all the time in the world, and I feel comfortable with that, that's my prerogative, but I'd rather not, okay? So from here again, my danger in this overall picture is what? Brain. It doesn't change, it's thought process. If this guy is a good, I don't know, Thai boxer or boxer, as soon as I come in to give him something, he'll know how to counter that, right? With whatever, because he'll be able to read that. So I've got to make sure that I am disrupting his thought process. What range are we in right now? Oh, nothing changes. Okay, nothing changes. This is all I want. I couldn't care less what he's good at. I don't care for that. All I want is this. When I have this, maybe I'll even take a punch or two on the way, but he is finishing from here. Okay? Now, what I also did there, if you notice, I took a principle and I applied it in a different context. It still gave me the result that I needed. What does that mean? This is wide open. This was a no-break piece of cake. Okay, if I hit him, that's great. What's happening now? <laughs> <laughs> Remember what I said, you don't defeat somebody physically. We don't pain them into submission and win. It doesn't work that way. You defeat them psychologically and physiologically. So I gave him one shot, now every time I do something, that's it. I know where to draw his thought process now. I know how I can occupy his mind now. Okay, now we don't have the luxury of doing that in the street, obviously, right, coming up and playing these games with people, but it's that principle that matters. What did I do up high? After I gave him that groin jab, what did I do up high? Did I do an eye jab? I jab. Where did I jab? I just jab here. Is that going to register? Is it going to hurt him, first of all? No. Is it going to register something? Yeah. yeah, he's going to perceive. If he's perceiving, what does that mean? He needs to stop processes on pause. That's all I need. And all I did was explode through. This is where I want to be. It's going to be a scary situation. We're going to have a fight on our hands here. But where are my hands at? Now, I'm not worried about anything. Now, I've got control. Now, I can hurt this guy. Real slow. Okay? <laughs> hands up. Real, real slow. Okay, so all we're going to do now is have his guard up, groin jab, and I'm just jabbing right through his fist. Just to buy me that concealment to come to here, one and two. I'm just doing a small little motion here. Nothing major. I'm just using this to propel me further into here. And all I want is this. I'm bear hugging his head. What am I going to do now? Ear smash, eye jab, or sorry, I gouge, head butt, elbow. Now, turn, and now, I'm not worried about anything, right? Now, from here, situation is mine. Let's go. Sure.